still rocking after all these years. This is the story of my rock and roll butler. This is it, the show that started it all. Often imitated, but never equal. From San Francisco, USA, uh, online since 2004, right. it's the one and only yeah. Rock and Roll Geek Show. With the original Rock and Roll Geek, Michael Butler. Welcome to the Rock and Roll Geek Show. My name is Michael Butler. Thanks a lot for joining me. I really appreciate it. Today is day two of the Dog Days of Podcasting, where a bunch of podcast nerds do a show a day every day for the entire month of August. At least that is the that is the plan for everybody. I am sticking to my plan. All right. <laughs> oh. Well, yes, and today is day two, and what I'm going to do today is I have an audio comment, so I'm going to play an audio comment. This is a show, this is a, I think this is a book review, Replacements, but here's the title of the email, which you can email me at rockandrollgeek at gmail.com. This is by friend of the show, Paul Houston, and it is titled Replacements Book by Bob Meir Book Review, okay? Michael Butler, a short audio review of the Replacements Book by Bob Meir. Feel free to play it on your show. Read, read, read. One of the best rock bios. This book is called, what is the book called? Trouble Boys, I think. I need to get this book, so... uh, Feel free to not send me this book, because that would just be uh, wrong, but... I need. I should probably put it in my Amazon wish list. But this is on, this is on my must read. But I'm going to play Paul Houston's audio comment for you. Hey, Michael Butler. Oh, hold on. Before I do that, let me tell you a little. Tell you a little bit about what's happened today so far. I'm sorry. I'm out of. I'm discombobulated. I sold a base on. I've got this kayak on, and I in order to pay for the kayak, which was extremely expensive, I had to sell bunch of shit and one of the things i sold was um a base on ebay and this guy on ebay is trying to get a partial refund because he says that i ripped him off on the shipping which i ended up paying it's a long story anyway i'm trying to deal with that and it's got me all discombobulated i need to take a sip of this fine a uh, beer. What am I drinking right now? This is an actually this is a Japanese beer called Orion, provided to me by Martina's boyfriend Alan. My daughter Martina is actually visiting from Washington. She's here for the next few days. And I made dinner. I made a flat iron steak on the grill uh, with some corn on the cob and some salad with some uh, tomatoes out of my greenhouse and a homemade mustard vinaigrette. And uh, some roasted potatoes with uh, in roasted in duck fat, and he brought this Orion Japanese beer from Okinawa, and I'm almost done with it. So I'm gonna take a sip of this fine Okinawa. Ah, now I will play Paul Houston's book review. Hey, Michael Butler, how are you doing? I am super great. Couldn't be better. Thank you for asking. <laughs> Good, good. This is Paul Houston, hey, Paul. long-time listener, all the way over in South Africa. Oh, and I'm really? sending you a review. South Africa, nice. Of Trouble Boys, The True Story of the Replacements by Bob Mayer. M-E-H-R, Mayer. I think that's Bob how you say it. Anyway. As this- opposed to Bob Mayer on keyboards, which was uh, on Frampton Comes Alive. Bob Mayo. The best, most in-depth research books on a band I have ever read. Um, I know you are a big um, fan of Walk This Way by uh, Aerosmith. Yes, uh, I am. The Dirt. And, uh, it's an oral history. Kill Me by Legs McNeil. That is a brilliant book too. But in my opinion, this is the best uh, rock biography ever. It was, uh, took eight years of research and had consent of the band. I mean, this thing is just Is cramped. the band quoted in the book are they talking like in oral history you know like when on the dirt the motley crew book they're all talking and giving their sides of the story and stuff crammed full of information and uh it's pretty heartbreaking the way the band ended and uh, i think tommy stinson was only 27 when the band ended the band just shooting themselves in the foot at every opportunity self-sabotaging their own careers um to, in my opinion these guys should have been where rem are today they oh, should please. be revered yeah i think i think they <laughs> well can- i think they are rev- as probably I, I would say they're probably more revered than rem 
they probably not more independently wealthy as the guys in REM didn't sell as many records, but I would say that they're probably as well or more revered than REM. Uh, not many more repla- more uh, influential bands in that time that came out of that time and era than the replacements, I would think. Same time, and uh, definitely uh, REM was seen as a rival by Paul Westerberg. Really? Uh, such a good band and such a good book, and I would recommend all your listeners to go out and get it. If you're a Replacements fan, it's a must-have. If you're not a Replacements fan, I would still recommend reading it, but I'm not sure you'd get the same out of it as a Replacements fan, but uh, highly recommend it. Check it out. Thanks, man. Bye. Right, thanks, Paul. Paul Houston, all the way from South Africa. You, too, can leave me a book review or a show review or a con- or a uh, album review or... Uh, review of this podcast or review of any other podcast. I don't care. Just send it to rockandrollgeek at gmail.com or you can call the comment line, area code 706-621-ROCK. That's area code 706-621-7625. But I would prefer you email it to me because it's easier. I don't have to fire up the Skype and I don't have to record it. And usually the Skype... uh, Audio quality is not as good as the email. Now, you can, you can just call it, do a voice memo on your phone, hit the little share thing, and it'll email it right to me. It's, it's a lot easier that way for, for everybody. All right. Well, in honor of Paul Houston's book review, I'm going to play a song. I just now discovered that Paul Westerberg has a bunch of free music he's putting out. He's got this thing called Drywood Garage, and he's been posting free songs on SoundCloud. I just now discovered this, so uh, I this, he's got like uh, so far he has one, two, three, four, five songs that he's posted. Haven't listened to all of them. Some of them are better than others. Actually, there's a couple that are not really that great. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five songs. I'm gonna play one called "Got It Made." Before I do, let me tell you how you can reach me, rockandrollgeek at gmail.com, area code 706-621-ROCK. Find me on the Facebook, r and Geek. Find me on the Twitter, r and Geek. Find me on the Instagram, rockandrollgeek, don't ask. Check out all the shows on the Dog Days of Podcasting because, uh, just because. <sighs> I have some things, I've been, li- I listened to all of them today at work, all the first day feed. I love listening to the feed of all the podcasts. Some of it runs the gamut of a lot of guys, comedy guys, or doing comedy podcasts. A lot of it's science fiction. A lot of it's uh, uh, fantasy and science fiction book writing. I actually listen to. Well, I will talk about other podcasts that are in the dog days at another episode, but. Uh, yeah, enough of that. Thank you to everybody who donated to the show. Please keep the donations coming. You can find donations. You can donate at patreon.com slash rnrgeek or on PayPal. You can find the links at rockandrollgeek at gmail. Or excuse me, at rockandrollgeek.com. Or just buy from Amazon. Click the Amazon link too and I'll get a little kickback, which I appreciate because there's a lot of things I need, which I will talk about at some other point. I have a, I have a piece of mail that I want to open. I've been saving it for a dog days episode i'll do that on another one all right enough of my talking here is got it made brand new paul westerberg don't know how it's going to sound we'll listen to it together got it made actually no i'm calling an audible that's not the one i wanted to play that was, that's one of them that's not that good. <laughs> Sounds like he's not spending a lot of time on, on the recording quality, but hey, he's Paul Westerberg. What do you want? Okay. All right. This is called Feeling Good. I will talk to you tomorrow for day three of the Dog Days of Podcasting. Here's Feeling Good from Paul Westerberg, Dry Wood Garage. <laughs> I'm feeling good I'm feeling great When it's time to hit the hay I'm feeling good 
It's a rock and roll geek train wreck. <laughs>